I know I haven't really been spewing out new videos lately. I have all the excuses. Work, I've been writing a lot, I've been crashing some. What? And I don't really feel like polluting the channel with content for the sake of content, so to speak. I do have some pretty nice stuff coming up. Well, at least I think it's pretty nice. It has something to do with this, which I thought I could tease some in this video. But uh, before that, I thought I would share some shoe repair adventures again. I know I did a video a few years ago, but this time was much more severe in terms of damage. And I actually thought this shoe was a goner after my little spill I had. I'm freaking Bambi on the bike. So let's get into this repair. So my beloved RC902 shoes got the worst of a little spill I had a few weeks ago. The bike got away with a bent hanger and some scuffed hoods. The palm on my hands got a nice shave. But the shoe is what hurt the most. The upper boa is just hanging on for dear life, but it still works. The synthetic upper though separated from the carbon sole as you can see here. So I got some proper ventilation. And in a very adrenaline stinned moment just after a very painful post crash shower I actually picked up a pair of Shimano RC7 that I found for a really nice deal. A shoe that I always really liked the look of but after riding them a few times I definitely felt that the RC902 is a better fit for me with a narrower forefoot. So these RC7s will soon get a new owner. I'm not quite ready to honk up another 350 bucks for a brand new pair of uh, RC902. So while I initially thought that they would be demoted to indoor duties, I decided to try and mend them enough to be able to use them outside again without worrying about ripping them even further. So my aim is definitely not a restoration or trying to make this look like new. I don't have that skill. I leave that to the pros like the shoe doctor. He could probably restore this to an almost new state, but for me to ship them over to Europe and then back, as well as paying for the repair costs, not having any shoes for like a month or two, it's not really justifiable for me. So instead I tried to mend them to the best of my ability with all stuff I had laying around from previous shoe fixing endeavors. So after an initial rough clean, the first step was to prepare the damaged area for my shoe goo surgery. I tried to remove anything sticking out from the wound, then clean up the area with acetone or nail polish remover. I used a fine sandpaper to rough up the surface, all to make it easier for the goo to really stick to the upper and the sole. Another quick wipe and just mask the area for the shoe goo so I don't get it all over the whole shoe. Then it was time to mix up the shoe goo with some white leather paint. This is from Angel Angel, you know, whatever. I find this is a better solution than applying the raw goo first and then painting over it. Even if I scuff the shoes again, which probably will happen, knowing myself, the patch should still stay white. I couldn't find the application stick you get with the goo, so some chopsticks would have to do this time. Did I mention I'm not the shoe doctor? After the base application, I removed the masking tape before the goo started to harden. I wasn't too happy with the coverage over the ripped part itself, so I applied some more goo and tried to get it a bit more even with a plastic spoon. Did not end up very nice, so in desperation, I used an ice cube to try and smooth everything out and after some rubbing it actually seems to work pretty good. Still not pretty by any means, but at least an improvement. Let the shoe dry overnight and inspected the patch again the next day. I could see the ripped part pretty clear underneath the goo so I decided to try and fill it in with some more just to be on the safe side. So out with the sandpaper again and try to rough up the surface somewhat to make sure the next layer would stick properly. Made a new batch of goo and leather paint and applied it mostly on the ripped spot now to make it somewhat even. 
Use the nice cube again to get it somewhat even and then let it dry another 12 hours before doing a last little sanding hoping I could make it look slightly better but to be honest it didn't do much in that regard. Last step was to apply some acrylic finisher over the repair and the shoe was ready to go again. So I know I know it's not pretty by any stretch of the imagination but I'm very confident that I will be able to ride this shoe again without worrying about suddenly ripping the whole upper completely from the sole. I'm even pretty sure I would be able to take the same spill again and the repair would actually last better than the shoe without it. However, I will do my best to avoid this test in the future. So again, it's definitely not a full restoration to its former glory, but at least I can get some uh, proper distance now on these without worrying about them falling apart on me out in the mountains or something like that. If you want a real nice looking repair, definitely check out the shoe doctor and uh, take advantage of his services. So let's talk about this then. This is one of my favorite parts about putting together a new bike build project. When I start something like this, I always start with the frame set. I never really buy a complete bike anymore because I can choose every single part exactly to my desires. Or like in this case, I can take a lot of parts from my old bike, save a little money in that way surf around the internet and trying to find the good deals on the other parts that will be necessary. I won't really talk you through every single part that has gone into this box. I will just show you the disassembly of uh, my beloved Open. We'll have to see what happens with that eventually. And tease a couple of other parts that I added to this box now as I wait for the frame set to arrive. Of course, I won't really spill the beans on exactly what that frame set is. There will be some hints in here for sure. So I will be curious to see if anyone can figure out exactly what I'm expecting. I did get a few correct guesses uh, on the track build at the beginning of this year. I won't give you quite as much hints on this time. So let's take a look on what I got in this box this far. 